Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another unboxing episode. This time it is a mystery mystery pack. I wasn't expecting it. It arrived today at the post office. I'm quite curious about its content. Um, it will be a mystery to me. Maybe I will recognize it. In the last uh, few couple of weeks I received quite quite a lot of mail with uh, vintage objects and vintage uh, fountain pens. So I'm curious to see the content of this pack. I have here my pelican knife and I will try to open this box. So on this side it has some uh, address and I will try to take that address off it. Maybe I can do it. Oh, yes, I need my little scissors because it is quite tough. Let me see. Like this. I want just to take out the address. I hope I can do it. Okay. And now to this part. And now this part. So the address is out and let me see the content so let me see how to open this oh it opens through this part so let me use the scissors to open it gently I hope I won't ruin the box yes so, whoa guys, interesting, let me see, I wasn't expecting this, so a beautiful, beautiful uh, photograph with an elegant lady, and on the back, Camellia, with Camellia. Quite, quite nice. Guys, I must tell you that this lot seems uh, unknown to me. Hmm, we will see about it. Maybe the seller sent me this by mistake. It is a person, a seller that uh, I've bought other things from him. Celtic Caporal Ordinaire, 20 cigarettes, gross module. And on the back, Loterie National. Interesting. Si vous savez, madame, comme mon mari est gentil depuis qu'il est millionnaire. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not so sure about the translation, but um, I think that if you save money, you will uh, be a millionaire or something like this. I'm not so sure. This... Sincere felicitări, congratulations, and this is an old postcard, okay. Jackie Coogan, Jackie Coogan, interesting, a young actress, Berlin, Letizia de la Ruxandra, so, from Alexandra to Letizia, quite nice. Interesting here, an, a date, 1926. Some other interesting stuff. Whoa, let me see what we have here. So, this is an old, old business card. Paul Caravin, Charge de Research. Bucharest Rumani, quite an old one. And here is something quite interesting. Republic Francais Brevet d'Invention. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> quite, quite nice. Depuis 
So, uh, uh, this is a promotional leaflet. It's not a proper breve de invención, like a trademark. No. Uh, it's a promotional thing, but a quite nice one. Hmm. I forgot about this lot. So, the Justice Palace here in Romanian. I believe this is a, an old, old book. And some writing instruments. Oh, I remember this lot, guys. Yes, it is quite, quite uh, fine. I did not pay a large sum of money for it. I'm sorry now, but I think I paid around maybe 10 euros or 12 American dollars. So this is a Rainbow 239. Unfortunately, it lacks the small nib and the feeder. Let me see if we have the original mechanism. No, it is broken. So for spare parts, I have this one. Okay, one of the contents. The other content is a beautiful Flaro Vega S. This is an, in a quite nice condition. condition. Let me see. Yes, quite nice. Let me see. And even the integrated piston, it is all right, in perfect functioning condition. Quite nice. And let me see what else I have in this bag. Oh, whoa, nice. So, I have other two little things. One a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yes. This is like a small, small perfume bottle. Let me see. And it has an S on it, or a snake. I'm not so sure what it is. And it still has some perfume, or quite, quite a nice, nice bottle. It's nice, to, the seller knows me. So, another rainbow through 239, but this time it has the nib and the feeder. And let me see if we have, yes, also this sack. You, you fill it by pressing this sack. So, also this included in the pack. You can see the cap is elongated. It's almost the size of the whole fountain pen. Quite interesting. And the last, another Chinese fountain pen made in China. I'm not so sure about the, the producer. It is a black one. And I think it has an aerometric filling mechanism. Yes, quite, quite a nice lot. So I did not pay a large sum of money for it, guys. Believe it or not, I paid for it around 10 euros so 12 american dollars so quite quite a nice pack i almost forgot about it but uh, i went to the post office and there it was so i want to thank the seller for this incredible incredible lot i did not pay a large sum of money so it is a good good day Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this small unboxing. Wherever you are, I wish you to have a nice day. Please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye-bye and God bless.